Today I need to make some pickled banana peppers. So I'm gonna show you how to make them. First, I need to come down here to my garden and I need to pick some banana peppers. You want pretty big ones. I mean, this is not the biggest one I have, but I have some bigger ones up at the house. They just have less seeds the bigger they are or the seeds are a little less noxious. So I'm just gonna pick a few. I probably only need like enough for maybe like a pint. I just kind of make these slowly at a time. Yeah, so we're just getting some from in here, and we'll chop these up later when we go to the house. See, this is like a better size. Alright, so now time to make the pickles. So I have my banana peppers, and I have some garlic, and I have some brine that I made. I'll show you how I make it. And so in my pan, I have a tablespoon of sugar and two tablespoons of salt, and I'm gonna add some water. And I'm just gonna heat this a little bit until it dissolves. So it calls for two cups of water, but I don't add it all in because then you have to let it cool. And I don't have time for that. So I just put in like a cup of water and I'm gonna stir this until it dissolves. Then I'll add the other cup of water and three cups of vinegar. Takes much less time this way. All right, it is all dissolved, so now I'm gonna add in my other cup of water and three cups of vinegar. And it's all cooled down now, and I have a jar. <laughs> this is just an old banana pepper pickle jar. <laughs> I have a hard time saying that. Anyway, um, this is just an old jar that I saved, so it'll work fine because I'm just putting it in the fridge. Anyway. I'm gonna get these guys sliced up into little strips and crush my clove of garlic. You can crush this up or you can just kinda you can crush it up or you can just kinda chop a little bit. I do take out the seeds just because we don't really like them in our pickles. Alright, now I'm gonna carefully try to pour this in here. I really need my funnel, but you know, we're gonna make it work. Fill it up to the top. I have a lot of peppers in here. That's probably good. Let's see if I can get those shoved down in there and then we'll put the lid on. That's probably exactly enough brine. I even had some red banana peppers that were like super ripe, so that'll taste yummy in there. And that's it! So, my little helper here, she was eating this pepper. This one was yucky, honey. This is the good one you were eating. This is the good one. She was trying to snag them. She likes taking a little nibble out of them as we harvest them. And then there's a little nibble on the end of all my peppers. <laughs> they got chopped. So it is really that easy. Like the brine is super simple to make. The, the brine is super simple to make. And then all you do is just chop up the peppers and a clove of garlic and let it sit in your fridge for a couple weeks. I mean, you could probably eat them pretty quick, but I let them sit for about two weeks. So, and then they'll last indefinitely in your fridge. Like I haven't had them go bad yet, so. Super simple, super easy. Yeah, let me know if you make these. So we'd love to know that. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.